If we run our echo server at port 8090, what happens if we make a couple of connections? So here I've made a connection, and here I can make another connection. When I type in this first connection here, then I get things hello. I get things echoed back like hello or goodbye. Um, if I type in the other one, like also hello, then uh, I don't get the echo back. In fact, I have to keep going over here until I'm done. And as soon as I quit there, then it starts echoing over here. So the problem with our echo server is currently it handles connections one at a time. That is, it goes into a loop and accepts a new connection, uh, as many connections as want to be made to the echo server. But after each connection, it runs the echo function to completion until the client sends an EOF and then closes it and closes and then that's when it waits for the next connection. So it's handling those uh, clients sequentially. Uh, even though multiple clients can connect at the same time because there's a queue behind a TCP listener, the server is actually only interacting with one of them at a time. So today we're going to improve that behavior of the echo server. Put that in picture form, we have a server with two clients, and let's suppose that client 1 connects slightly before client 2, enough that the accept there first accepts the click connection from client 1. So client 1 will write hi, uh, meanwhile client 2 successfully connects and can write something else, like hello. But uh, the server, having accepted client 1's connection, will be reading from that connection, uh, echoing things back, and it's only when client 1 sends a close that uh, the server stops handling that connection, calls accept again to pick up the, the uh, second client. So in this in-between time here, client 2 is just stuck waiting for client 1 to finish. It could be even worse if uh, the, uh, the person typing at client 1 uh, goes out to lunch. Then the Telnet client is waiting for uh, the user to type some more, and it'll just sit there indefinitely, and client 2 will, will never get a uh, response. So this may or may not be okay for our toy echo server, but clearly it's not a good idea for our web server, say, where the client connection uh, is still interacting with the web server and it needs to keep going with other connections. Uh, most server applications need to interact with multiple clients at a time. In other words, the server needs to handle the clients concurrently, all at the same time. Uh, and we'll look at three different ways of turning our echo server into a concurrent server. The, the first way is using processes, uh, one process to handle each connection, and we'll implement that with fork. The next thing we'll try is using threads instead of processes, and it'll be very similar to the process approach, but we'll use a function called pthreadcreate instead of fork. And lastly, we'll look at uh, an approach where we implement the concurrency manually, um, taking complete control over the scheduling. Uh, we call it multiplexed I.O., or you could say that it's event-driven because it's based on when things happen from clients, uh, and the key function that we'll use there is called select.